Welcome back. My name is Jace the Mind Sculptor, and I'm here with your host, Porcelain Legionnaire. Well, you want you want me to be the Toilet Warrior? How dare you? That's actually pretty funny. I never thought of that. You never thought of that? No, this guy was good. It's, this guy was good with our first draft today because we went uh, Porcelain Legionnaire on two, and then Tinkered on three and three. Mm. Got that blight. So you mark. mean he was an artifact you could sacrifice? Man, what a great card! He actually no, he dealt like tw he dealt all twenty points when we also put a Sword of Fire and Ice on him in one game. Okay, you're still taking Jason Mindsculpt for that. That's correct. Uh, Herman Miller was not the company that I went through to get the warranty. Herman Miller is the company that makes the chair. If you buy from them directly, they have a 12-year warranty, and I'm pretty sure their warranty policy is probably better. Um, I went through a company called Madison, Madison Seating to get the chair, and uh, that's where the issue with the warranty came up. More like Madison Seedy, huh? Also, Herman Miller is a very, very well-known company uh, in, in terms of chair furniture. If these bits don't function properly, please put them in a chair size box and send them back to Twitch HQ. <laughs> okay, we'll do that. Well, that's a 10-4, oh, good bit, buddy. Oh, big oogs. How many, how many good dragons are in this pack? You're a good dragon boy. You're a good dragon boy. You're anything you want to be. Let's pick here, bro. Um, I really like Ugin. Eight mana? Yeah, Have you ever but... cast a Dragon Lord Ojutai? Yeah. You were cast a Metamorph, man? Metamorph is... I would take Metamorph over a Dragon Lord. Yeah? Yeah. I think so, too. Also keeps us blue. Life hack. Just use the box as a chair. That's pretty good. Ah, oh, boy. I feel like a Leshnorn's pretty good. <clears throat> it's not bad. Well, people want ham on the Ugin, but I don't know. Eight mana is a lot if we don't have any any mana ramp. Click is pretty good. Click seems better in cube just because you get to uh, take their best card, which oftentimes will kill you. I don't think we're going to be reanimating a Leshnorn, so it might just be click here. Click, click, boom. I just got past the pick three ancestral recall, so it's weird when that happens because you're, usually you can use the uh, the excuse that none of them are in blue, but if it's pick three, no, it doesn't make any sense. You really have no damn excuse. Do they open a foil ancestral recall. Ooh, there's that reanimate. How do we feel about reanimate? Reanimate. I kind of like sower too. Sower does what reanimate does. We just let our opponent do it. Oh, then clearly by that reasoning, sour is better. Sour. Mm -hmm. What about sweet? What about sweet of temptation? Uh, they didn't print that yet. Oh, they that's will, gonna though. be in the next set. They got the sweet and the sour of temptation. And then you can have a bitter and a and a and a tart tart of temptation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're also not in black, so I'm just gonna take the sour. How do you feel about that? You okay with that? I'm okay with it. But okay. Need some snacks, man. People are always like, "Hey, I'm gonna. I got some raisins there, man." I don't want your raisins. People are always like, hey, look, you got a piece of power. And I'm like, Time Twister is not power. It's power in like one deck. It's literally power in the Storm deck, and that's basically it. And even then, you have two other replacements for it. One of which is actually better. <clears throat> Umami of Temptation? What is that? <laughs> is that this? It's oh. all the different flavors. Force Spike? Time Twister? Tooth and Nail? Stormforge? This pack has like a lot of good cards, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to determine which way we're going. I would take Stoneforge or Thunder Maw Hellkite. Really? Yeah. Really? I don't have any artifacts, so I don't think it's Tesseract. All right. Well, you don't think it's Force Spike either? I'm not a huge fan of Force Spike. Me neither. I think Stoneforge. Treasure Cruise seems good, right? Yeah, let's Card's banned in Vintage. It's basically Ancestral Recall, right? Nothing's banned in vintage, Frank. Oh, it's restricted. Restricted in vintage. My bad. My... That's... Ooh, what up, Jit? That seems legit. That's pretty good, actually. That's a real late Jit. What, that seventh pick Jitte? Come on. Nobody cares for equipment. I like this, but I, I'm taking no. this. Didn't you learn your lesson last draft on how you couldn't catch spells? Yes. Yes, I did, which is why here we are. <clears throat> it's got to be Blade Splicer, right? Why did this treasure cruise just go in between the three and the four drops? That's a good question. It's definitely Blade Splicer, though. Agreed. Toilet Boy. I think it actually is Toilet Boy. It's a three. It's a three-one. It's not incredibly easy to deal with with first strike, no less. And if we get the Tinker, uh, it's perfect. Mm. 
think we're more likely to splash black, so I'd take the courtyard. I like this though because we can search for it. So if we get if we get a like a misty rainforest, we can get an island or a, or a plains with it. Green sucks though. We don't use it for the green. You just use it because you it lets you it turns on green fetch lands for you to get your white source. Oh yeah okay. All right. Or is it? Hmm. Hmm? That sword's not very powerful, and but in certain matchups, it's good. I don't know. We also have stone forge. I'm gonna take the sword. Yeah. I don't think five mana angels are really going to be that hard to come by if we really want one. Wow. All right. Apparently, All swords. apparently swords are not that hard to come by. Oh, also in the, in one of my previous cube drafts, I uh, had a kitchen thanks with the name was Jite. And I got real overzealous about it, so I attacked into their Knight of the White Orchid. It didn't work out for us. You didn't get counters, do you? No, it had first strike. Mm, that was a mistake. It was <laughs> not my finest moment. Eh. No, nah, Hellkite, man. <clears throat> really? Yeah. That card just wins games. It does. You're not wrong. Also, we like these are our only two white cards right now. So yeah, we can abandon ship. I mean, this isn't a white card. What up, Nosegad? I like that we lost all those viewers because we were chatting about the chair, but then, like, now we're streaming, so... Get wrecked. Did they get wrecked? God, why is the Mirror Angel in this cube? It's so do nothing. It's this card that you get last pick, and you're like, maybe it's good, and then it's never... You're like, it's not gonna make the cut. It's not powerful enough. So I say about you. I'm like Mike's not powerful enough. <clears throat> Mana Vault. Blood feast is in this stupid thing. It's blood fast. Whatever. He's man. fasting, not feasting. It's just a worse greed. You're a worse. No, it ain't. It costs two mana and flips. That flip don't matter. I want sushi, man. Thanks a lot. I didn't even do that. That's your fault. How? Sushi's expensive. How? Right? We got Moldrifter, Monastery Mentor, Mana Vault. It's gotta be Man of All, right? Does the anti chair card really hold that much sway over your string? Uh, no, we only lost like a few viewers. What'd you say? It's gotta be what? It's gotta be Man of All. I was thinking that too. It's very broken. Hey. Are we planning for that Tinker? Ooh, hope to get lucky. Well, Realistically, see. these are the only cards for us in this pack, and I don't think any of them Trying are better great. than Blightsteel. Yeah, let's take that Blightsteel. Let's live the dream. <clears throat> let's Tinker. I want to tinker with you. Also, if we get the Mono Blue Tezzeret, we can get it up to 11 and then or 12 and then just Blightsteel into play. Yeah, that seems super reasonable. Uh, I don't think Mentor is that great because we before we have Mana Vault, we only actually have one, two, three spells. So I think Mentor is great in the right deck, but I don't think uh, I don't think we have the Mentor deck yet. Oh, I like a Jace Beller and a Swords and a Lightning Greaves. No, I need Lightning Greaves. Is there a better way to get this guy into play other than Tinker? Through the Breach is also an option. Sneak Attack was wheeling around as well. So. <clears throat> it was wheeling around? Wheeling around. I think it's got to be Jace, right? Tinker I think Jace is better than Shell Dock Isle. Um, yeah. Could also be Sword. But Sword's pretty good. The problem is I'm not leaning towards White right now. If we play White, cool, but I don't want to be stuck committing to it. Take that, Jace, boy. That guy's pretty good. Old snappy boy. Duplicate's also not bad. <clears throat> it's definitely not always shell dock. Now we have to find things for this guy. How about a... Could be Orzhov signet here. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> Shelldock has a way to sneak in Blightsteel in a very rare situation. I think it's just Colonnade, right? Um, sure. You don't like man? You don't like one of the best creature lands that's in our colors? I don't like anything. I hate all. Okay, well that's one way to. I'm gonna have some of these raisins, man. Good for you, man. Thank you, bro. What do we have for dinner after this? I don't know, man. Where can we go where I can get sushi that you can also get food? 
Publix. Nowhere. That ain't sushi, man. That's overpriced garbage. Payway. I like Payway. They don't have sushi, man. I was just kidding with you. They do actually have sushi. Payway has sushi. Yes. That's Not so very far. great sushi though. It's just like California rolls. <clears throat> Let me see that California roll. Hey, look, another sword. It's got to be a living ring this time, though, right? I guess. That is one of the better swords, but I think a living ring is stronger here. Especially with Stone Horgy. Or not, rather. Never mind. I'm going to stop talking now. What I was saying was going to make no sense. Elspeth or Coercive Portal? Ooh. Elspeth. So you go here as a two drop. You go here. Is it Elspeth? Yeah. Mm, okay. I'll trust you, but I'm not going to like it. The best part about being blue in this cube is that it puts you on... Oh, I like Sun Titan, actually. How do you feel about Sun Titan? It's the only reasonable pick. You can splash for Scarab God. Nah. Whatever, man. It's a good high-end guy. Getting you, Having the Oblivion Ring Jace Sun Titan combo is pretty sweet. I like Repeal. Repeal. Okay. I'm just going to assume... If you, if you sing the name back to me, I'm just going to assume you're you're just... Uh, In agreement? Yeah. Okay. I like Repeal. Repeal! Okay, well, that's a <clears throat> that's affirmative then. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're in white now. Oblivion Elspeth Sun Titan really put us... Oh, look at this beautiful chicken. That is one beautiful one chicken. chicken boy. I like Recruiter, I actually. Number. Really? I think it's actually... I think you're right. Recruiter gets... Is it Toughness? Oh, it's Toughness. We can get Vendillion Click, Phyrexian Metamorph, Blade Splicer, Stoneforge Mystic, Snapcaster. We can literally get every creature in our deck. Except yeah, for Sun like, Titan. How great is that, really? I mean, getting Sower? Or getting Sower, yeah. But Metamorph? Else? Well, it's too late now. Take the Greaves, boy. Over Signet? Yeah. Actually, not... I think Greaves is pretty good on, like, Sun Titan. Or if we do get Tinker... Unexpectedly Absent very playable. These are all very good cards that we're getting. Oh, Spyglass seems good. That's a sideboardable card. Which member are we talking about? Dismember. Oh, a Thalia. Oh, a Field of Ruin. That's actually not terrible. These raisins are good, man. You're missing out. It's not that many left, though. Mox Pearl! And the Tinker! Oh, no! I think it's got it. Maha. <laughs> if you guys listen carefully, you can hear the exact moment. When he ha when he realized how difficult of a difficult of a decision it was, I think it's got to be Tinker, right? Like it just makes our deck so much more broken. But do we have that many artifacts to even Tinker into right now? You think Tinker makes our deck more broken than Mox Pearl? What if the what Tinker if just Tinker? We have the Blight Steel. What if it comes back? Wheeling. What? It might come back. I don't think we do have the artifacts for Tinker. Mox Pearl wins games. Do you know how do you know how broken it is playing Mox Pearl ahead of the curve for everyone? Had to do it, guys. Relic? Coalition Relic? Yeah. You like that over these two? Maybe not compulsive research. Really like that card. I like Relic in multicolor decks, but. The only thing Tinker does, Tinker actually makes it so we don't have to play Blightsteel, which is nice. I like Compulsive Research a lot, actually, especially with Snapcaster. It's definitely not Gear Hulk. Could be Arid Mesa. Arid Mesa only gets us a planes right now. It's definitely not Arid Mesa, unfortunately. If we had a dual lane to be Arid Mesa, but. Lantax, Supreme Verdict? Tezzeret? <laughs> yeah, blue, blue, mono blue Tezzeret. It's not Gear Hulk because you just don't have the targets for it. Repel, repeal, and unexpectedly absent are bad targets for Gear Hulk. So our only real targets for Gear Hulk is literally compulsive research and dismember. 
Land tax, I guess. I like verdict just to have a reset button. Sure. I don't like land tax that much anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna pick land tax. I don't even like it that much. I like it just Gideon. Seems like though. it never does anything. Oh, I didn't know Roman was in this queue. I haven't seen Roman yet. There's... I think it's Roman. We yeah, have Snapcaster. Snappy, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Roman. Balance. I like blink of an eye too. Actually, that's weird. Yeah, I don't like. It. I don't think it's balance. I don't feel like we're gonna win our. You win don't want to bring a balance to the universe. I don't think. I don't think we're gonna thank us this thing. I think it's blink, right? Are we, balance is hard to set up. I agree with you. That's why I don't like it. I also feel like we're gonna have more creatures than. Actually, we don't have that many creatures. We're never casting Blightsteel, correct? But if the if the Tinker comes back, we're gonna play that. Would you pick blink over no, blink of the eye, blink of an eye over into the royal? Maybe it depends. Blink of an eye looks cooler. Into the royal has more history though. Not much. Is it remand or remand? Uh, I think it. Oh. Wait, hold on. Cryptic command. There, I sung it, so now you can take it. That was all I had to wait for. Huh? Wow. Path to exile and dig through time in this pack. I think it's path. Over dig? We already have a treasure cruise. Yeah, you're right, actually. That's a good point. How much delving are we going to do? See, that was a good point. That was good. I appreciate you. I'm the master of disaster. You're nothing. You're nothing. You're like the Jon Snow of disaster. That means you know nothing about disaster. We have eight creatures I understand in our the deck. reference, Frank. Okay. I didn't know if you were... I don't know if you're familiar with the Game of Thrones. Do you? Are you familiar with Cones of Dunshire? Yes. <laughs> That's a good game. I wonder if anyone's made an actual version of that in real life. They would get sued. Hey, man, do you like this card? This is your favorite card in the last draft I was in. I like Walking Ballista better. Really? Uh-huh. How much are we going to pay that thing for? I don't know, like two. Kills you, do, things. you don't want to got him? I guess so. Please. You want to got him. Our Tinker didn't come back, I don't think. Oh, this is actually a good Gideon. No, this was the Tinker pack, so it didn't come back. Dang it. Over Luder Boy? I don't care about no Luder Boy. Play a sword. What? This also wears swords. Look, another Gideon. We'll just play Mono Gideon Control. I bet that 5-drop Gideon comes back, too. I might play Horse Boy. Horse Boy? Mm-hmm. All these white cards are coming back. We have three cuts to make, and we only have we only have eight creatures, but Elspeth and Elspeth are both creatures. Elspeth and Gideon are both creatures, basically. I think we cut Lightning Greaves. Yeah, we can cut Blink of the Eye. Blink of the Eye. Blink of the Eye? Blink of the Eye. <laughs> oh, I cut Porcelain Legionnaire. I don't know if that's correct. Definitely not. Wow, we went from that guy's garbage to definitely not. That's, that's quite a change. Do we want one more sword in the deck? I think we do. We only have War and Peace and Light and Shadow. We don't have any good ones. The black white one's better. We also need to make one more cut, so. This is a good card. How did the Cones of Dunshire Kickstarter fail? The only way I could see it fail is if it was done by someone who has no association with the show. And they Probably. were just like, Hey guys, I'm going to make a cool Cones of Dunshire game based on my love of Parks and Rec. And uh, that would probably fail because then you're like, I don't trust you. But if it was done by like Adam Smith, Adam Scott, is that his name? Ben Wyatt, then I could definitely see it succeeding. Because I would want to support that, and I would trust him. Looter with what? What's TC? Treasure Cruise? Yeah, that's fine. Sorry about the raisin eating YouTube viewers. Oh, this is only 44 cards. We still got more card, man. Oh, great. Oh, the Cones of Dunchar Kickstarter video? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it was Mayfair. I mean, Mayfair is actually a legit game. That's pretty funny. Oh. Oh, boy.
Hello, my name is Michael Daniels, and I'm here to tell you about a game that will change your life, just like it changed all of our lives here at Tilton and Radomsky Accounting. Okay, they're just trying to be Parks and Rec. That's pretty cringy, actually, unfortunately. YouTube gets triggered by raisins. Think about that. I said this earlier. I had this whole this whole thing where I'm like, man, if you're getting upset by another human being, the sound of another human being eating raisins, you're digging deep into your into your soul there. I don't want to play Oops All Gideons. We only have two Gideons. If we had five drop Gideon, I could see doing it for the memes, but... We don't want to fit a sword in here. Is Repeal better than Blink of an Eye? I think so. Why? Because it's, like, really broken against tokens. Yeah, but if they have, like, Blightsteel Colossus, like, we're never going to bounce that. Whereas Blink of an Eye lets us bounce it. True. I guess Blink of an Eye is more versatile. I mean, this is going to cost 4 mana to draw a card and bounce anything. This will cost 4 mana to bounce anything 3 mana or less. I think I think Blink is actually better here. I don't know if Mana Vault is actually good in this deck. I like being able to ramp to Sun Titan, but otherwise... I think we can cut Unexpectedly Absent. You don't want to cut this? Like what how many how many matches is a three mana like one mana, one mana, one mana, one mana, two mana, two mana. One mana, one mana, two mana, two mana, two mana, two mana, two mana, one mana, two, 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 one, one. Like the only cards that actually can use the three colorless mana is Sun Titan, Unexpectedly Accent, Treasure Cruise, and Yeah, I guess I could see cutting it. Pretty much nothing else. Really, that's it. Everything else you're either just adding one extra mana. And we have Mox already. Do we feel the ruin? I feel like we feel the ruin here. Okay. No. Yes. So seven seven. Eight eight. I actually feel or like we want more blue because double blue, double blue, triple blue, double blue, double blue, double blue. These are the only double white cards, and we actually have more blue than white on turn one. So this is actually nine, eight, nine, seven. Mm -hmm. No, six, seven, eight, eight, nine. This is nine, eight. That seems good. All right, let's see if this. Uh, we definitely don't want Thalia. Our deck has a lot of spells. We only have eight creatures in our deck, so we have actually everything else is a spell. Thalia would be bad news bears for us. Yeah, I'm not not going to be thrilled about killing all, killing all of our spells. Spell, spells is, is this is spools. I will play first. Spazulies. Sand seems bad, pretty bad. Yes. Wow. I think it's actually worse. We got an O ring. But I don't think we can go to five. I don't think we can keep this in Vintage Cube, though. No way, dude. Oh, Gilliam. <laughs> wow, that was amazing. Do we want this? Yeah, because you want to draw off Compulsive. You're right. I think this is the best hand yet, though, and Compulsive and Treasure Cruise both get us back in this, so. We're not dead as long as our opponent's not doing any bro th broken things. Not yet. Mox. Oh, we knew. It. never mind, we knew what it was. <laughs> <laughs> That's like Mox one time. It was not a Mox. All right, well that's pretty good. Nice, sl nice and slow game. I always forget to target with compulsive research. It's actually quite comical. Um, you gotta keep that land, man. Do we though? Yes. <laughs> what are you insane? I don't want to discard any of the cards. I want to discard the land, man. Oh my. That is so greedy. It was real greedy, and I'm not good. I'm not gonna think it was the right play. What are you gonna daze them and go back to two mana? Yes. Ugh. Yes, I am. Not like this. Yes, Catch like oh, like remembers. this. You can't daze that. I don't want to. You can daze nothing. Man, I really wish we had a planes right about now. You gonna make one? 
Yeah, technically. But did it untap your lands? Yeah, it does. It's weird. That's weird. Look, we got a planes. <laughs> Man, they're blue green, so you're not gonna get punished. Yeah, you're right. They're not gonna they're, unless they fight it. I don't see that happening. I don't either. They need a creature first. If you're tapping the bird, you're probably tapping out. No, sir. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy. These are all planes. We can play Elspeth. Yeah. It's all coming together now, my boy. <laughs> Dang it. Not that lucky. Feels bad, man. One, two, three. We can actually just treasure cruise here, man. Are you sure about that? No, we're one shy. Dang it. That's what I thought. I mean, Blade Splicer's still fine. I don't think we're actually in that bad of shape. No. No. You're not really doing anything anyway. You're not really doing anything. Wow. I got him. Hey, look. A throne. That card's good against us. We can steal it. No, we can't. Dune Star, man. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate. It. Yeah, I know that's the that, that's that's the joke. Oh, Dude, maybe joke. I need a maybe I need a Rainer Wolf Castle saying that's the joke on the on the switchboard. I like how you guys thought I was serious about the. <laughs> we could soar for temptation this bird. Actually, that's actually not terrible. How do you feel about that? Seems pretty terrible. Really? Yeah, like what? Then we go Elspeth, jump this guy, attack for a million. <clears throat> yeah, but like we can just wait for a land. I don't want to wait for a land. I want to just do it now. We also have, we'll have so much more damage in the air. All right. And we deny them a land. Stop being a little baby, dude. I feel like it's desperate. It is. We're desperate. No way, man. Look, we got two birds. I'll give you two birds. So I'm your not, thumbs? I'm not going to because this is a family-friendly time fair. of day. It's a family-friendly time of day? Yeah, I can't. It's a family-friendly time of day. So what do you got? One, two. Swaggy. Okay. Swaggy bottoms. We got five. Hello, my name is Swaggy Bottoms. My name is what? Chuck a chuck swaggy bottoms. We can Elspeth jump this, attack for six, seven, eight. It's not great. It's um, not... They crack back for a lot. Well, we can actually chump block with one of the birds and then path... Um... The only one we can? Well, path the bird, actually, to get another white source. Oh, we could blink our sour and his steel frag dust. That is an option. It's true. I straight We can actually block and blink next turn. The old block and blink, a classic. Fat bottom swags. They also have one card in hand, which is pretty good. I'm okay with that. Fat bottom. Oh, no attacks. All right. Wait, which is the one? This one. All right. Blue. Boy, 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 boy. Enjoy your stupid. Where's all my white mana? Where the white mana at? Where my white mana is at? So just chill to the next episode. Remember that song? No. That was a Snoop Doggy Dog.
song? I remember nothing. My God, man. What's wrong with you? You got brain damage? It is joke. I do remember song. Is it? Man, the... You're a joke. Do you know how good keeping up Snapcaster and Days is? Oh my god. It's okay. Hey. It would be very good right now. <laughs> Specifically. Well, let's play the game. Are we dead? We do have a Metamorph on board, so we can actually go. Snapcaster, tap to blink, and then if we draw, we're going to be one mana shy though. Actually, we can pass one of our things here. Zendikar, Consecrated Sphinx, we're stealing that for sure. Actually, maybe we just path that. <laughs> oh god. This is actually quite, quite, quite a scary. A tough choice. We're going to have to path this now because if we path it after this, then the trigger, uh, they get the trigger from the lands. Oh, I think we just, well, they had a bird, so I don't think we fixed their mana by any means. Don't have a land in hand. All right, cool. We're good. We're good. We're good. Because now we don't have to do it on upkeep, which is nice. Boy, this bird of paradise, man. Put in work. Just killing it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Still only seven. That is sad. This sort of temptation also putting in some serious work. Well, now we got two first strikers, which is super nice against this throne. Any Teferis yet? Uh, we've seen some in the Vintage Cube, which is good times. The trolls are real. Hmm. Hmm. It's a little scary. Is it? Yeah, they can trample us with it. I got a Sower of Temptation to, to kill it, and I also got an Elspeth to, like, to jump. We'll, we'll be alright. Well, don't. don't forget to do that, then. Also, we need another white mana. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, wow. Harmonize was the last card in your hand? Holy smokes, man. Your hand was Harmonize Garrick? Seems good. We can also just put it. Oh, uh, we can also just put a sword on this bird, and uh, you know that seems fine. If you like it, then you should have put a sword on it. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if we draw Stoneforge, we can cast it and equip Jitte. Well, that works too, I guess. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So actually we could we could treasure cruise for everything. And if we hit a land, we can exile this, which I think is pretty safe. How do you feel about that? Seems a little green. Really? You don't think there's a land in the top three? I'd rather just path it, I mean it'll bring it ring it and like know it's gonna happen. <laughs> I just wanna know it's gonna happen. I'm going to tag it with this sower first to see if we can eat a bird. 
Because they might just block with bird to uh, to make sure overrun is alive and well. Yep, cool. I think there has to be land too, but if the land is Celestial Colonnade, it's still risky. So. I just think the risk is not the bisque. I mean, we would have been able to use this three mana, which is very, very good. I think you talked me out of it. I think I would have done it if you weren't here. I think you're kind I of... I talked you into making sure you don't die? Man, I'm horrible. Well, there's more to magic than making sure you don't die, Michael. No, there isn't. <laughs> then why are you so bad at doing it? Not dying? Yeah. I don't know. We're still alive, aren't we? No, you and your, and your single matches. When, that, when I'm not even there to protect you. You don't know about that. Boy, I know. What is this? Come on. No, oh, for crying out loud. That's annoying. <sighs> Boy. I mean. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, it's pretty bad. Shoot, shoot. Shoot the bird. Shoot, shoot, shoot. They just kill everything. Interesting. I don't know why you're letting me on tap here, but preach. Sure, that guy's dead. Bird of Paradise. Sower of Temptation. That doesn't even have any of your guys anymore, which is pretty cool. Well, I have the Thrag does. Oh, you're right. That's unfortunate. opponent has some pretty good draws the problem with our deck is we actually don't have any like super strong cards like we don't have any uh tooth and nail type cards we don't have consecrated sphinx we would have three more cards in our hand right now if it wasn't for you watch top cards gonna be planes you ready that would have done it you're unbelievable uh-huh Uh, planes, research, days, blink, porcelain, solar, this guy, and this guy. This technically is another planes. Yes. Should have played this, actually. We could have killed the Lumbering Falls now. Well, they can't activate it. These are all irrelevant. Right. The only one, two, three, is like four, Cronin, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They actually have twelve minutes. So they can put three counters on this. I think we have to kill this now, which is pretty bad. Yep. I like that you let me keep the Blade Splicer, which gives first strike. That's actually pretty good for us. Irrelevant until the Crater Hoof comes. Yeah, touche. I'm sure that top deck is imminent. Nope, just the Nykthos. All right. For five. So Thrun's a good card. There you go. I, figured, I was like, why aren't they attacking with Thrun? Unfortunately, Thrun doesn't even get past Supreme Verdict because they can just block. Let's see if they realize they can activate this in response. Oh, they apparently not. Cool. Why is opponent's portrait highlighted when we pay life? Can you force them to pay instead? I don't know. That's a good question. Well, that's a good question. Hey, it's so good to me the bowl. Uh, we're not attacking here. We'll just make a dude, I guess. So block, block, block. Elspeth takes one, and then you lose a bunch of dudes. That seems okay. Oh, if they had a hoof, they would have gotten it with tooth and nail. That's actually a good point. Yeah, that's not a bad... 
The old hoof, there's the tooth. Man. <sighs> These top decks are pretty good. It's okay, we'll draw land, I'm sure. Oh, great. I'm at eight. I'm almost positive you just attack my face here. Overrun is probably not in the cube now. This is not. A, this is a vintage cube. Is overrun? This is not an overrun cube. Wow, everything at Elspeth. Interesting. Whatever, I'll just kill these guys. I'll suppose dead. God, where's the Supreme Vertical you Needle? Know? I mean, they would still have a 3 3 and then Thrun would still live, but. Yep, that ain't gonna do it. All right. Still probably bringing in Supreme Verdict. The teams are real good against them. Agreed. Plus, we have. We're heavy Planeswalkers, too, so. Unexpected Absent seems pretty slow. I kind of like Banisher Priest because they don't have a ton of answers for it. Our two swords are neither of their colors, unfortunately. I wonder if a Mirror Angel is any good. Whatever, I think this is fine. Also, don't forget we multiply five, and our hand was not great that game. So, how's that dog doing? He seems all right. Oh, uh, this hand seems fine. Jitte should be able to win this game, I imagine. Because that's what it does, but... <laughs> Side in the Blightsdale for Pencha Eureka. No, actually don't do that. Okay! Bird of Paradise. Land of War Elf. You heard with the bird. Well, now we're doing it. It's all coming together now, ladies and gentlemen. Are you going to pay two for this? No. You heard? With purred. Land off the top one time. That's not a land. So we just play click and take your best card. Seems good. Pew! I have to write these down because you look at the hand, it's not revealed, so. Alright. Harmonize. Atarka. Sphinx. And Thrag. Probably harmonize and forest. You think harmonize over? I guess they get to play harmonize. No, we could just remand it. Actually, they're so far away from Sphinx, and yeah, we'll just take the harmonize. Oh, it did show up. Wow, that's impressive. So they have Sphinx. Yeah, we know we, that was actually a good draw. This is probably the end of the game, actually, because then we get to kill this guy and it puts them so far off all the cards in their hand. Uh, they didn't harmonize because they already saw Daze and we have three mana sitting up, so 
I mean, it's almost suicide to to harmonize there. Like they're just throwing it throwing it away basically when they can wait one turn and play around days pretty easily. Oh boy! Isn't that special? That ain't gonna win the race. That's not something that props can fix. Yeah, we can just sit behind both these counter spells. Or we can play a Blade Splicer, but Blade Splicer doesn't really do anything. Nah. No. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 we can deal next turn. Definitely think we remain that. We, we can also can just steal, steal it. it. Yeah, we can he can kill it or steal it. Like we have so many options here. Cause they can't cast they can cast Thrag Tusk next turn if they hit a land. Cause we know this is their hand right now. Probably just steal it. Really? I was gonna kill it. Yeah, because then you don't want it. you want to have remand up. We can kill it. I mean, it doesn't matter. We can do it whenever. Um, as long as it's before they draw, we can get rid of all this. Well, I definitely want to uh, pump this twice so that we can uh, put them on a two turn clock. Uh, plus two, plus two for seven. Plus two, plus two. So we'll have three. We can kill this guy. Actually, I think we just steal this turn. Thrag Tusk is annoying, though. Yeah. It's pretty annoying. Whatever. Kill it. It's pretty annoying. Sure. It's an interesting choice. He doesn't want to get dazed. I, mean, I think they're dead now. We know their entire hand and Roman's going to shut down whatever they have, so... And we also get the option to play Blade Splicer here. You know, Jitte also gains you life if you want. It's a heck of a card. It's a really a thing, man. It's a really a thing. We can also block with Blade Splicer and get it back to Sun Titan. We can do all the things. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're playing around days all game, which is just great. Yeah, we're just going to counter this and win the game. Seems good. I mean, the alternative is not showing them remand, because they're going to kill Jitte. And then we actually still have the win on board. We actually didn't have to do that. Because we can negative two the, the thing. They have one blocker, and then we just kill them. So we actually didn't have to show them remand, which is frustrating. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. Well, they had six mana, so dazing the Thrag Tusk is not ideal. That has a lot of expensive stuff in it. I'm really scared of... God, Consecrated Sphinx is one of my least favorite cards in this in the cube. Also your favorite card. Yeah, it depends on what side of it I'm on. Banisher Priest actually seems pretty good in this matchup. They don't have many ways to deal with it. There's like no ways to deal with it. Yeah, I'm gonna just submit like this.
Speak of the devil. Colonnade. Mmm. Time to kill this now. I think you do. It's aggressive, but it feels good. And we take another two from this guy. Oof. Mike's shirt is making me dizzy. Well. Does this help or make it worse? Oh, that's got to make it worse. That feels bad. Dang it. We're already 14. God, it's like we're playing modern over here. Death Shadow incoming. Stoneforge Mystic is basically dead, so we're going to draw it soon, I'm sure. Interesting. They were going to play something last turn. All right. Do we get a free equip? Throw on all four games? You know it. I said four games because it doesn't even matter. It's just obvious that they have it every single time. We can actually attack and then... No. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> yeah, I just want to make sure. If you had double strike, you could do it. That'd be great. Two. No. Land. Let's play around the days. So they're going to play something for sure. Living in bug house over here. Oh, this is great for us. We get the snapback dismember, kill this courser, and then gain some life. How are we getting so screwed on white mana all three of these games? I think it's actually we can block with Snapcaster and then just bounce him. Which is actually pretty good. Uh, we could I could see putting Silverblade Paladin in the deck just because of Jitte, but I don't know if that's great. Sure. This is a good turn for us. Huh. I think block and blink is good. For all just modes, gain life, put neg one and negative counters, and put plus one, plus one counters? Uh, no, neither of the counters. Plus two, plus two until end of turn, neg one, neg one until end of turn. Okay. Because we're not going to go to two here. I think we just block and blink. I wasn't sure how broken Jay was. I thought it might just be plus two, plus two to anything. It's pretty broken. I th If it was, that'd be great. Oh, come on, white mana, dude. Three cards in our hand, they're all white mana. Come on. Uh, we can't block and kill. That is not how... That's not how Thrun or Jitte works, unfortunately. Sam would have been insane if we could actually jump this guy. Uh, we'd have had three, four more damage, which would have put them to seven, and three more damage, which would have put them to four. They would have been dead on board if we could actually cast Elspeth last turn. So. I think we're just taking four here. Go to two. Not a big deal with four life from Jitte.
Yep, had a feeling you were going to acidic slime. We'll let you target. We'll kill acidic slime. We'll gain four, and then we'll just bounce it. If Thrun didn't have Hexproof, we probably would have killed him ages ago. Ages ago. Oh, Lana War Elf. It's a bold strategy when we have Jitte in hand. Oh, another double white card. Thank goodness we don't have a choice to make this turn. We can just actually put this on whoever. A land would have been nice, and then we can re-equip, but... I don't think they're going to not block. They You didn't block? That is a surprise. Seems like a loose play. Jitte's pretty OP, man. I don't know if you guys knew that. It's the only thing keeps us in this game. Yeah, because literally we have four white spells that are double white in hand. <laughs> like, it's pretty good. Stop. Well, that's a good one. Especially on a throne. Three, four, five, six. Actually, we win if we draw White Source right now. If they don't have a, 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 an answer for that. One, two. Even if it's a Field of Ruin, we still we still probably win. White Source one time. Double, the another double White card. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yep, that's cool. I don't see why we need more planes. We have like nine white sources in the deck, like, and a mox pearl, like. Yeah, we have quite a few white sources. There's no reason for this. Sorry, I, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. I think this is literally every white, every double white card in our deck. Five of them. Like, if we attack, they block here. Or they can just block here and regenerate. But we get two more counters on it. You're just so dumb. Like, we just literally get the win. We win the game if we, if we get a white source for Elspeth. We also probably would have won the game like two turns ago. You mean if we had turns where we can actually cast our spells? Yeah. I agree. I agree with you. I mean, if they don't move this over, it's fine. Oh. Oh, this is fascinating. Oh, wow. That was fascinating. That was not the correct play, I don't think. Definitely not. Huh. Still live for any white source. In before Colonnade off the top. Consecrated Sphinx. Another card you... Oh, alright, alright. I imagine that should have been done first, but... <sighs> oh my goodness gracious.
Crisscross, I'll make you jump, jump. Night I rent, I'll make you jump, jump. And we're not out of the woods yet. Oh my Ooh. god. <sighs> so that was earned. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven, eight white sources, not including Field of Ruin, which is definitely a white source. That's nine white sources in the deck. Uh, our double white cards are this, 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 and unexpectedly absent. We replace the unexpectedly absent with the Supreme Verdict and a Banisher Priest. So we literally drew all of the white, all of the double white cards, and only the double white cards. So pretty weird. Why did he concede? Because he was dead. Because that's how magic works when you when you when you get your when you reduce your opponent to zero life they die. Jit uh, give creature plus two plus two. Uh, he died. Actually, path is technically also a second white source in many of those situations. Yeah, you are not wrong. Uh, Jitte had two counters on it. We got two counters on the Jitte from blocking the batter skull. I don't know if you guys know how how batter skull works when it deals combat damage or yeah, how, how Jitte is, works. Jitte is just any combat happening. It doesn't matter if you hit them or not. Jitte had two counters on it. We blocked the batter skull. We dealt five damage to the batter skull token and got two counters on the Jitte. We had two counters on Jitte. If anyone wants to clip that to make sure people are aware of this phenomenon, feel free to do so. I don't like Silverblade just because you only have eight creatures. Um, we got chat lethal in chat. <laughs> got chat non-lethal, like reverse lethal, where we actually didn't win. You didn't see any counters because the Jitte is underneath the creature and the counters yeah, are they, underneath that. So yeah, they just place the counters in a weird spot. At no point in any game should you have ever seen counters on Jitte unless I zoomed in on it. Um, which is a which is a feature. It's not a bug. It's a feature. Like it's not it's not. There's nothing tricky about it. I blocked a creature. I dealt first strike damage and killed it, and I got two counters. It's not. It's, it's tricky. Actually, I can probably return to the game. Can I? Can I not do that? No, I guess not. Guess the game is gone. <laughs> when it tries to do a spectrum recession, it's in the sideboard. I don't know how it got in the deck. I feel like we want one of these cards over unexpectedly absent. Silverblade Paladin, maybe? My problem is eight creatures. Elspeth and Gideon are also like creatures, so that's kind of like nine, ten creatures. Silverblade would be 11 creatures. Paladin hits pretty hard. I forgot we had Jace the Mind Sculptor in our deck. Yeah, it's because we've never seen it. <laughs> that's fair. Yeah, I think Paladin's fine. Let's try Paladin. Still nine white sources, so... Good times, good times. Why did your opponent concede when you had lethal on board and you were entering the combat step and attacking with the creature that was going to kill them? I don't understand. Beats me. You don't have to see the counters, right? You know that when a when an action takes place in Magic on in Magic the Gathering, like that thing happens, right? Like just because you don't see counters on the Jitte, you know I attack, you know I blocked a creature, dealt combat damage, and got counters on the Jitte, right? That. It's not like that doesn't happen just because you don't see it. That's like it's like magic object permanence. If I didn't see it, it didn't happen. I will play first. Uh, it doesn't exist. Are you okay? It's like snapper. We don't. There's no snapcaster in this hand. That's not what I mean. I mean it's snap keep. S snap keepster. Yeah, snap keepster. Hmm. A snap keebler. Just like when you're paying for a release free and you can't see the damage dealt to the player. That is correct. Yeah, if you're like, I don't... Did you see that happen? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you'd remember it. Oh, uh, the reason they're spending it on Arena and not making MTGO better is because Arena, can you, you can play on mobile. You can play on phones. Um, because there's more money in that than there is on making Magic Online playable. And they've seen this from games like Hearthstone, games like Elder Scrolls, games like Eternal. Like, there's more money in making a mobile game, a mobile way to play Magic the Gathering. And, and trust me, uh, from playing Magic the Ga Magic Online for as many years as I have, uh, 
you're going to have to redesign this client from the ground up. So. Really? Opposition under Chrome mocks. Ooh, someone's desperate. It's funny because they didn't actually use it that turn. Like, I would actually keep this in hand to surprise. To do a, to do a, to do a dokes from, uh, from Dexter. Surprise. Surprise, multi trucker. Land? No. That would be... That's way too much to ask for in our 17 land deck. With no 5 drops and 1 6 drop. No 5 drop, no cry. Boom, boom, boom. So here's the thing. Apparently you can turn off all the flashy stuff in Arena. Here's the thing. You can't actually... Karn, you're still trolling me, dude. You can't actually do that in... Uh, in Hearthstone, you can't turn off the flashy stuff. And the reason why you can't do that is because it's not a nuisance. It's never problematic in the game. So, my theory is that if you just don't make it obnoxious in Magic... Are you kidding me right now? If you don't make it obnoxious in, in Arena, you won't need a setting to turn it off. The arena UI is it's not great. Um and I hate to say that because I want to be positive about these these magic these these magic uh digital offerings that they keep presenting us with, but I don't know how I don't know what it's going to take to make a good look at that. They had one extra. That's good. Daisy or real piece of garbage. Our opponent is just playing standard with Vraska's contempt and Karn and Mox Pearl and Chrome Mox. All right, Grim Monolith. That's good. You're doing good for yourself. Hearthstone isn't all flashy, except for when I click the background stuff and I'm doing them. Exactly, that's exactly right. Like, you can have this. <laughs> so, like, um... And that's the thing. Like, it's out of the way. So I never feel like, oh, this is so oppressive. I'm really, I really need to turn this off right now. It never feels like that. Be okay, we're just done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two. Yeah, seems good. Our opponent has two Planeswalkers, nine mana. We have a Porcelain Legionnaire and two lands. I, I don't really understand what's going on, but... <sighs> Sorcerer Spyglass definitely coming in. This might be a Thalia matchup. Uh, I know, right? I feel the same way, dude. Uh, <laughs> just like my... seems bad. I just don't want to... Like, I feel like Thalia is going to hurt me more than them. I can take... Yeah, they have creatures. I'll keep dismembering. Whatever. This is literally our top end. One six drop and one one treasure cruise. And we can't draw a third land. Eh. If they made a version of MTGO that actually worked well and functioned and charged a monthly sub model to have access to all the cards. Uh, I would hate that. Uh, you take away the trading card aspect of Magic the Gathering. And you just give people... Um, there's a certain appeal to being able to trade cards and being able to have cards that people don't or playing cards that other people can't. Like, it, there's a there's a definitely an appeal to that. And I think that's part of what makes Magic awesome. And just making it like, here's everything, do whatever you want, is not a good idea. If you think formats are figured out quickly now, you wait till everyone has access to every single card. And it's just going to be pretty miserable. I mean, to be fair, we won. We won round one in pretty, pretty good fashion. Days. Well, we got the classic one white source so far. Yeah, it would also it would not only devalue paper, but it would actually disincentivize anyone to buy paper magic. They're just like, well, I could just play. I can just play it for free on the computer for ten bucks a month. So cool. Yeah. It's just not a good economic model. Especially in long term. Like, there's a reason every single other game going forward has not done that. There's a reason Hearthstone hasn't done that. Eternal hasn't done that. Gwent hasn't done that. Elder Scrolls hasn't done that. Like, there's a reason uh, economically for the company. Like, because there's a cap on that, right? You only have so many players. Whereas, like, if a new set comes out... And, like, every new set, you're, you're almost disincentivized to, like... you're If you make a new set, right... Everyone's already paid for it. 
right? Like, I don't have to, like, hey, cool, a new set's coming out next week. I don't have to pay a dime for it because it's included in my subscription. You're basically making no money off that set. And then people can play test the sets online with their subscription model. And then they just they can pick and choose which of the, play, the paper cards they're going to buy based on that. They can just be like, oh, well, I'm just not going to pay for it because I don't really need to. I just already know this card's bad. Whereas, like, there's that, there's that feeling of experimenting with it in real life or, you know, there's just... There's a lot more to magic than just actually like ones and zeros and playing the game and winning and losing. I'm just tempted to just metamorph this guy and just see what they have. How do you feel about that, man? Yeah. You don't like it? It's okay. Opposition. Okay, that's obnoxious. Hostage taker. Okay, that's obnoxious. Grim monolith. Okay. If if they play a hostage taker and we take the hostage taker. Can brain we, already hurts. I don't want to know. Can we cast it? Because we can play that next turn. Wait, no, we can't cast it. This isn't a hostage taker. Oh, we saw it though. Huh. Huh. A lot of magic players don't want to invest twice between paper and digital, but they're not going to want to all of a sudden because um, th that's never going to change. So you have to either accept that or you're going to make a subscription model and that's not necessarily better. You're just literally getting people who aren't going to... They're still not investing twice if they're paying for a subscription. So you're not... You're not like... It's not a. It's not an alternative to... I can't tell if I take this... If I, if, if I take this with so or if I can cast the card underneath it. It says it on the card, right? And I control the card... For as long as it remains exiled, I think you can. All right, I want to take opposition. I probably should have taken actually. Well, I don't know. This is better than the long game, definitely. Assuming Mick Go works, yes. Well, you know, fingers crossed. There should be a code on the back of every paper card that enables you to unlock the same card in MCG if you want to go through the trouble. Uh, that's, a, that's I don't like that. Um, I think a better idea is to have a have a code on, on in packs that gives you a pack online. Something like that. Here we go again. Because then you're still rewarding players for, um, you know, for, for basically buying your product. And you're forcing people to, they don't necessarily get the same collection they have in paper. Okay, so what did you have? What were your lands? We saw Island, Swamp, Swamp. And you have since played Island, Island. Okay, so we know these three cards in your hand. Craig RTG, good to hear it, man. I've thought about this a lot. Like, I, I think about this a good amount. So are their creature path it that's not bad oh that's very good and they can't hostage take that guy so I'm gonna hope that your one of your two remaining cards is not a um, yeah I hope you didn't just draw cryptic command which is why you played double island I mean, they can always make the distinction that you can't use the packs that you get from packs um, to to draft, right? They could be special packs. Like, they could be physical transfer packs or something. Just give it a stupid name. And they can't be... They're not eligible to be used in a draft. Like, that seems pretty easy to, to do. Like, that's super simple. Like, you have to open them. That way you get the cards in your collection on Magic Online and you can't use them for events. Like, that's a really simple fix. I want to hit a land here. Can we hit a land? Preferably a white source. Any anytime. Hey, look at that, we did it. Who's who's good at magic the gathering? 
my dad. I don't think your dad is good at magic. You don't know my dad's life. I'm going to go sower an island. We're going to play planes. They could also just put scratch off cards like in, in, in packs that have like you scratch it off and you're like, here's a pack. Here's a, here's a pack of Zendikar. Here's a pack of Rise of the Eldrazi or, you know, whatever. Here's two treasure chests and then you redeem a code and then you get those things. It's, I mean, it's a really simple, it's not super hard. Like, uh, yeah, that's fine. I have a Jitte. You ever seen a Jitte before? No. You will. One day. One day. All right, so you're still not playing Hostage Taker. You, you played Swamp Jace, so you have two cards still. Tempted to path this guy. We could also bounce this guy. We could no draw cards before, man. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm probably just going to play Jitte Attack and then give them opposition. Oh, we can put this back. Play Stoneforge. Yeah, let's do that. That's pretty sick. Look, I get to search. Shuffle it up. Jitte. And if they get their opposition back, it's totally fine because we're killing both of their creatures if they block. So, Yeah, this is a pretty pretty busted turn right here. Oh, they get to steal it with uh, with Hostage Shaker, but then we just get to... I don't, get to... I don't think we get to do anything, actually. <laughs> oh, we get to Oblivion Ring it. That's fine. Let's kill their Jace. <sighs> so my concern is that they go Hostage Taker equip, like this guy. I think I'm, I'm fine with them getting an activation off of Jace. Yeah, there's a ton of social aspect that weren't... I have a lot of information about what happened during version, version 4 um, from people who are on the inside, and it is a much bigger shit show than anyone ever thinks, I think. Um, yeah, alright, that's fine. Oh, they're going to equip and do a thing. We're probably just going to kill this guy. What if they don't know they can get rid of artifacts? Because that is the lesser used ability. Oh, they didn't know! And they don't have a black up? Oh, this is great news. So they're getting rid of the Mesmeric Fiend. They get opposition, but... Oh my god, who cares about that? Wow, that's not good. Oh, and we get... If we kill this guy, we get the Metamorph? Oh, they're going to copy it. Uh-oh. I forgot it wasn't a Metamorph. We'll kill it now. Wait, what? Kill Watch what? Taker. We only have two counters. Oh, it's a 3-3? Okay. It's a 2-3. You, you don't know anything about this card, do you? No, I don't. Can't kill Hostage Taker with counter. Why? Someone else suggested that too, man. I wish I lived in the magic world you guys live in, because that, that one seems fantastic. Is there a reason for the last one? Yeah, that's just... It's actually not behind. It's in front of Mike. It's Mike's mic. KGX Reload, thank you so much for the sub. Six months in a row, I haven't been on Twitch lately, but your YouTube content has been keeping me up to date. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Now there's no black spot. I'm pretty sure they're trying to figure out what to do with this guy, but... Like, no matter what they do, we can get we can kill this, get back... Um... Oh, God, what do we do, though? There's a lot going on here. If we killed the, if we if we if we were able to respond to the morph trigger, it would be a zero zero in play. We wouldn't actually have to do anything to kill it. It's, okay, you're playing this. I kind of want to kill this guy now, so you can't do anything with it. That would put three cards in your bin. This would be a fourth card. 
Plus you can't attack with you can't attack with Jace, so I'm actually gonna kill this guy now. I don't really want you to copy this. I don't care if you copy Stoneforge. If you, you're not gonna copy Jace, you could copy Hostage Taker. Which Probably. is pretty good. I mean, I have an active Jace and a bunch of good cards in hand, so. Oh, he just copied. Oh, he just. Wow, that's weird. This is everything that's happening right now is super strange. You put on the Jace. That ain't gonna get no counters, boy. Oh my god, this is amazing. Oh, dang. Come on, just bring it in. <laughs> yes! Oh, that's going to be so sad. That's the worst, man. Well, that was entertaining. That would have been so good, dude. Pretty sure we have to chase. We have to... Yeah, we have to chase here, right? So no counters on this, and you put it on the O2. All right. So this is gone. I'm not sure if you still have a Swamp. Elspeth seems pretty good. I'm pretty sure he's played a Swamp by now. I don't think that's relevant anymore. Yeah, you're probably right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put Legionnaire back. I don't care about you. I don't we'll have, care about Gideon right now. We'll have seven lands. Uh, let's do it the other way. You and you. So we could do Elspeth Path, one, two, three, four. Or we can go Oblivion Ring Path Path. That seems good. I kind of want to equip though. Where did their graveyard go? Didn't they have like a bunch of cards in their graveyard? No. Huh. What was I thinking then? Probably something stupid. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's Got weird. him. Funny joke. Okay. So we can just get rid of you. Um, sure. Bro, I'm going to be real with you. You ain't flipping. And then we can just keep up, uh, kill this Jace, kill him with fire. I don't actually care about Umazawa's Jitte up until the point where they can actually use it, so. They didn't come by his Jace because they didn't want you to bounce it to get your morph back. I was tapped out at the time. <coughs> they could have actually cast both things. They could have copied, they had two mana up, so they could have actually copied Hostage Taker, steal the Jitte, and then use the last two mana to play the Jitte, and there was there would be no cards underneath any of the Hostage Takers. So that was definitely not an option, or not a problem, rather. You doing okay over there? Man, I like that we just got a, a KGX Reload sub, and uh, we lost two subs because of that. Not because of that, but, you know, you know, in, in lieu of that. Jace Bellerin. Well, I can't stop it, so. They have one card in hand. Okay, go two. I guess both draw. <gasps> wow. I guess that doesn't matter. We have a, an abundance of riches, so it's it's not actually relevant if we have it's an like, whatever, card. go crazy. I almost have to just play Snapcaster here and get super aggressive. Do we need to, though? I mean, it's one, two, three, four, five damage. Um, six, seven, eight with this, which puts them on a two turn clock. Okay. It sold me. And, like, when are we ever going to have enough mana to, like, Snapcaster? Like, the only thing we can Snapcaster rag is one of these, and we don't really need either. I almost want to Fate Seal them. I mean, they don't have anything in hand, clearly, that matters. Hmm. 
Yep, you cannot have that. We can also make an emblem too, if that if that does anything for you. No. No. Five, six, seven, eight damage. So they're basically dead on board. We can also just kill the Jace. Let's kill them. I'm okay with what you're saying. Go ambush Viper. Do 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 do. I'm actually just gonna play this guy because we can't do anything with the mana. So we gonna counter this. Oh, you're just gonna tap your girl. I was like, what? All right, so uh, hopefully no like upheaval. We know they're not drawing cryptic command, so that's good. Cryptic command would be obnoxious. Hey man, what's the food plan after this? Marsh flats. That's pretty good. That's also pretty good. I recommend we eat hot food. Hot dogs? No, just hot food. Doesn't have to be hot dogs. What kind of hot food? Dang it. Hot food coming through. Part. Here comes damnation. I don't care about that at all. I also tapped all his black mana, so we don't have to worry about a damnation. <laughs> I guess that's fair. Oh, we'll give you the pentad prism for sure. I smoke stacks. I smoke stacks, stacks every day. That lettuce, boy. Wow. I thought Mike wanted sushi, though. Wow. Sushi's not even hot. That's super funny. That contradicts oh, the exact thing true. you wanted. I just know there's nowhere we can go that, like, you can eat where there's sushi. It's also funny because you said if we go to F, if we don't go to F and M, we have more food options. But we'll actually probably have fewer because of when this draft ends. Like, it'll probably be, like, 839-ish when this draft ends. So we actually have fewer options than if we just went to F and M, where we would have had two hours between 6 and 8 to eat anywhere. It's true. Yeah, so get wrecked. Sacrifice for the views. Well, yeah. Sacrifice. What are you willing to sacrifice? <laughs> oh, boy. What's, do we bring anything in? Is this lightning greaves any good? No. No. Okay. I know a place that sells deep fried sushi rolls. I mean, that's actually pretty common. Hey, man, let me see that sushi roll. Let me see that sushi roll. <laughs> sushi roll. Sushi, sushi, sushi roll. What about this three-man Gideon? Is that guy any good? No, he's terrible. Just submit. All right, man. God. Submit. Why don't you have an ancestral? Oh, boy, I ask myself that every single time I draft this stupid cube. I don't like this hand. Really? What does it do? Draw those cards. They don't do much either. They're pretty slow. Yeah, but oh God, but they have lots of ramp is the problem. Look, they're just going to go Mox, Chrome Mox, Grim Monolith. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Just side and time walk. Solid strategy. Let me see that sushi roll. Every day. Mox. Dang it. I was hoping for Mox so we could actually play Jace this turn, but I guess I'll just do Stoneforge. We'll set up for the other best card in my deck. Card's not even banned in Modern. What a joke. Budget. Both of these. Unban both of these from modern. Come on, you can do it. And then we can see that Tootsie Roll. <laughs> What's that even mean? I think he meant sushi roll. He did mean sushi roll. That's the funny joke. I just ate salmon avocado roll. That sounds pretty good. Oh, that guy just resolved. They have no counter spells whatsoever. That's good. It's good to know. Look, we got a second white source, but it's uh, it's disguised. White source in disguise. No Decepticons. That's the Transformers theme song, in case you guys didn't know. See, this is where they just play treachery. The Abyss. The Abyss. Well, that's obnoxious. Yeah. Doesn't it die next turn, though? The Abyss? No, it's not... It's not porphyry nodes, bro. I don't know what that is. This doesn't care if you have creatures in play or not. Oh, it doesn't? I thought it did. It doesn't. Well. You understand? How do we win now? It's nope. not. 
It's not looking good. We got a mill. Mill them? Yeah. Start up ticking with Jace. Can we just Oblivion Ring their Abyss? That too. <laughs> I'm open to all options. Okay. I'm going to do that. Transformers more than meets the eye. Remember that time they had a Jace and they were like, I'll uptick it. And I was like, hey man, you do you. Are you yawning right now, bro? Duh. It was a burp. You can tell because I just did it. I can't tell. Looks like we're going to let him draw a card. Or are we? Yes. Don't get rid of that, Jace boy. It just dies to this. No, it doesn't actually. No, it don't. You're like, no, it don't. I play Commander, dummy. Give me a Planeswalker. One time. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Oh. That's a good boy. All right, we're just going to pass here. I got real excited. And Hunter's probably like, what? what's going on? All right, so we're going to play Vendillion, click EOT, make sure Sun Titan's safe, play Sun Titan, get back Oblivion Ring. I kind of just want to throw this out because we can get it back with Sun Titan. Sure. And I feel like everything else is more important in our hand. And they're probably like, oof, thank goodness the jet is gone. Little do they know. It also gets rid of their mocks, so. I'm still going to play click here because we get it back with with Sun Titan. If they if it forces their hand to... Wow. Yeah, let's take that boy. So, Island Plains... Why didn't you, I guess... Why didn't you respond? I would have probably done it for four, that yes. Boy off. So faced. That's... That was some greed. Jace Farmers more than meets the eye. And you have two lands on Hostage Shaker and one Rando card? I feel like this is actually going well. Colony is pretty good against the Abyss, but... I mean, it, it does commit like six of our mana every single turn. I hope they blow it right now, dude. Blow it right now. But then they get to Hostage Taker for... Well, no, they don't have enough mana to Sun Titan and Hostage Taker, so... I guess we'll just hit. Do you hear that grumbly man? What could you possibly want? Some oh. food? Oh, I see. I'm going to play this Elspeth. Yeah, that's pretty good. Do not have cryptic command. Actually, Some hot command. sushi bits for Mike. Thanks for the, for the later stream. Hot sushi bits. Did you hear about Mike's mom? She was a hot sushi hot sushi bit. Wow. Actually, I could just get sushi tomorrow for lunch. That all you can eat spesh. Where is that? It's sake. It is Yeah, but 10.99. For lunch? Yeah. Hmm. For all you can eat sushi. It's not bad, but I don't want to I don't want like all you can eat for lunch is always like I'm like, "Oh god." I just really want sushi. Jace Farmers more than meets the eye. What do you even take with this? I don't care. I'm going to dismember you. So did they play land? They played an island. And they played a hostage taker. And now is the time. Now is the time. Ho, 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 ho. Did you try to steal my Vendillion clickles? They also use so many blue. Like, if they had cryptic command, boy... What a dummy. Boy, oh boy. Boy, I tell you what. This will destroy Celestial Colony if we activate it, which is unfortunate. So don't do that. Mike is greater than the Abyss. That's a good point. I hadn't... Oh, they're going to do it now. <gasps> oh, they're going to kill their own Mox Pearl. This is great. Oh, Biscuit City. Oh, Biscuit City. You heard me. Oh, Biscuit City. Keep on walking. Keep on walking? Yeah. Wow, I didn't know Biscuit City was going to walk. Man. I don't know how to deal with the Abyss. We, we play Sun Titan and Oblivion Ring it. Same thing we did last time. Hmm. The, the plan we've been working toward this whole game. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Wow. I'm going to draw another card. I, I like having seven in my hand at all times. Mox, 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 Mox. Dang it. Not a bad draw, though. One, two, three, four, five, six... Big old sun tidies. Oblivion ring. Big old sun tidies. 
Don't forget the Oblivion Ring part, man. That's a relevant part of my song. Sun tidies and Oblivion Rings. Don't deal with it. Just let them get... I feel like we want to close this game out because I don't know what kind of shenanigans they have. I think they're just a stupid control deck. Oh, I knew we had... Didn't, didn't we know that? No, that was like last game when they had that. Did they only Pentad... Did they literally play Island Island Pentad Prism? Yes. <laughs> Are they tinkering, maybe? That Even if sense. you were tinkering, that still doesn't make sense because why would you pay one mana? Why would you use this for one mana instead of two? He wants to draw a bunch of cards off Blood Feast or whatever it's called. Fast. It's literally just fast. You're just taking E out. You're actually making more work for yourself. Saying the E. Agreed 2.0, whatever. Ag agreed 2.0? Mm hmm. Agreed. Hoo 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 hoo! I don't know why you would draft Pentad Prism, though, if you don't know what it does, right? Like, you don't look at that card and say, like, wow, this is good. I'm going to put this in my deck, unless you're really sure what it does. Because it does something very, very specific. Um, Do I want a Silverblade Paladin here? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. They were manned up, too, so I think we're going to get in there for... Wait, he's just dead. Is he dead? Oh, God. Yeah, double strike. Oh, 12, God. 13. Double strike is gross, dude. How is this deck winning games when we, like... I feel like we shouldn't be winning these games that we're winning. Oh, well. I love winning games. I shouldn't be winning. That's the only Magic games I win. How did that Dang. guy win that game? He wasn't supposed to be winning that. I will play... Oh. Ship it. Of course, the Mox Hand is terrible. This Mox Hand's better. I agree. I'm going to keep it. Island? Oh, that could be a thing. I think we need to land, though. That's pretty aggressive, sis. Which one? The keeping it? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. That's why we didn't do it. We did draw a gazillion cards off Jace. That is fair. Ooh, Soul Ring. What a oh. savage. Of course they got to one-up us. If we draw a land, maybe we Phyrexian Metamorph, that's... Oh, vomit. Things are getting out of control fast, kids. I really, I really wish I didn't... Uh... Ooh, that was a good draw, though. What was I going to say? I wish I didn't something. I forgot what it was. <laughs> All right. Mm. When one equipment isn't enough. That's a good one. Wow. They got Jit and Batter Skull. What's it like to be living in the High Village? The High, the high Village? Yeah. Is that where you smoke that smoke weed every day? <laughs> yeah, boy. We could copy a Jit here. You're right, but I can or also just, to copy, I can also just copy their Stoneforge and get my Jit. True. Which probably seems better because you get an extra body on the board. Let the body. You know? I do. I do. This guy's got first strike, so I'm feeling pretty safe holding back here. Well, that could be good. That's a beautiful baby boy. Hmm. Slam for three, play Jit, pass with Dismember up. Do it. Well, they're going to put Batter Skull into play. Mm hmm. So the problem is if they put Batter Skull into play, we're going to have to Dismember it. Mm hmm. And then next turn, they're free to equip their Jitte and attack. Yeah, but then we can block that turn. Right, but then they're still going to get counters. If we block with the first strike guy, they get no counters. And once they have counters on this, this guy dies. They can kill this because it's going to be it's going to have one damage on it. So they just kill both of these for for the, the keeping the counters off. This is the most relevant thing you can do. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure we still just play Jitte and keep up dismember, but we're not attacking this turn. 
we're going to wait and dismember whatever they do. Them being mana screwed here is pretty relevant for us. Both players have Stoneforge Mystic, a Jitte, and three mana, thanks to their power. Uh, I don't want to path and dismember because then we can't play Jitte. And I don't want to path because then they get a mana and them being stuck on mana is pretty relevant. Actually, I'm really hoping that they go to equip this guy. That'd be great. Yes. This is pretty brutal, I think. I think this actually turns the entire game around. If they don't have a land here, it's pretty bonkers. Oh boy. All right. Well, game's over. <laughs> Pretty much. They activated their JIT. First person to get two counters on a JIT, that's where you want to be. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Gonna let you swing. Oh, that's good, but I'm gonna remove counters all day. Yeah, that's fine. We're not giving you more mana. Oh, you can tell how you can tell their mana situation's rough because they got that bad boy. I'm actually just gonna kill this, or try to, because. Then you don't get any blocks at all. Yep. That's you can also bounce your soul ring. I was thinking that, but actually that's probably going to seal the deal, to be quite honest, if we did that. That's pretty brutal. Because next turn we get in for 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we have Path and 2 Jitte. This, this game was insane. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. But we knew you were a plane, so what did you have for three mana that you couldn't... Okay. That's weird. Why didn't you play that last turn on Jitte? All right, well, they got a bunch of land now. We do have a daze. Daze actually is probably pretty relevant still, so. Daze, fashion related to the party. Three, four, five, six, seven. Land into Gideon Emblem actually game if they don't play a creature. But we'd have to hit a fourth mana source. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh boy, I feel like we're just playing the exact same deck. The exact same deck fading. This game has been brutal. This feels like a legacy match where everyone has like three resources and they're just trying to do their best to like... Yep, that'll do. Oh, dang it. Alright, cool. Man. Did we just see mono white? We didn't see yeah. any other colors, right? Just white. So do we just bring in, like, either one of these swords? I think so. Which one's better? I think, maybe we bring in both? Both of them? <laughs> I don't know about both of them. Which one's better, though? Light and Shadow? What does that one do again, exactly? Light and, well, light and Shadow, you gain three life, and you return a creature from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, sword of War and Peace might be better, because it's plus two, plus two. Obviously, I don't know why I said that. Um, it deals damage to the player equal to the number of cards in their hand, and you gain life equal to the number of cards in your hand. Yeah, War and Peace seems better. 
Although, uh, germ tokens are black. Done. That's a good point. I like that. That was smart thinking. Michael, you really impressed me with your smart thinking. What do we cut? That is a question, isn't it? Banisher Priest? I just added Banisher Priest. Well, unadd it. <laughs> Take it out. All right, 41. Done. I figured we wanted more cre more creatures to, uh, you know, to, to do the thing. I don't love this hand, but I really don't hate it, I guess. It's a little slow, but... So am I, so. Wow, I, you beat me to it, man. <laughs> you can't got him if you got yourself. That's right, that's true. You gotta beat him to the gut. Oh, well, yeah, it's still a good draw, actually. Oh, that's right, I forgot. Yeah, we had it was sword. actually bad up until the point where I realized that we added a sword. It's okay, we'll draw next. I know, I was thinking that same thing, dude. Boy, they never don't have that, do they? This is a good card, though. So I'm probably just oblivion ringing this, unless they if, they... if they don't play a creature, I don't care. Both of them. Okay. Someday. Hey, look at that. And everybody, everybody's got a million things. Everybody's got a million creatures. Theirs is better. Wish we had a mox here. We can go Umazawa's Jitte, equip, attack. Oh, gotta be so good. We have to get rid of the Jitte, right? Yeah. We can also get rid of this, and then they just have nothing to put either of those on. I think we're getting rid of this. It makes their batter skull so much worse. Plus, if we do hit a land, we get to Jitte and, and do it. Jitte and do it and Jitte. I guess they are just mono white. No, I lied. I see. Oh, the perfect draw ever, man. Ever, man. Ever, man. It does, it does ramp them for... Actually, we should have waited. Yeah, you should have done upkeep. Yeah, but then they get to untap him. They could have a response. They could make a dude. I guess that's not worse, though. I think I think I got excited because I was, like, worried about it. And then I was like, oh, no, what do we do? And then I didn't know what to do, so. I didn't know what to do. Here comes B-Skull. Yuppers. Do we have any way to deal with that in our deck? That's not going to do it. We can equip from black. Are we to, like we're still missing like the mana to actually equip. And Jitte is not black. God, why can't we draw fourth land? Or one minute shy of doing everything right now. Unfortunately, I think this game is over. I agree. Like, yeah. I just don't know how we beat this. I mean, theoretically, we could get rid of the germ. And then start recovering with uh, this sort of light and shadow, but... <clears throat> What's this? Not equipping the Jitte? He's another sword that he's going to equip to it. It's going to be Angel. Angel. Archangel of Thune. And they want to play it pre-combat so they can Vigilance. Armageddon. Okay, well, that's going to do it, I think. All right, let's keep that in mind. That's good to know. Boy, is that special. Well, isn't that special?
See, this is why I like Banisher Police, because it gets rid of their creatures, and they don't seem to have a bunch of ways to deal with our creatures. Okay. I hate you so much. I hate you so much, like thousand... F- what a stupid Gideon. The Gideon just won us the game last game. It's a stream of creatures. You conceded before you even saw that. <laughs> yes, well, but... It- take out Dave. We're on the draw, right? No, we're on the play. We just Goodbye. lost. Isn't it good on the play still? It's way better on the play than it is on the draw. Oh yeah, they have red, so that's a good call. But they also have black creatures. Yeah, but they could have red spells, which is more relevant, I think. I think a compulsive. Sure. Or Jace. Uh, I like compulsive better. Yeah, you kept it out. Interesting. Oh, that's I meant taking out compulsive. That's what I meant. Oh, okay. This hand is friggin' terrible. Um. He has this member and sword. I kept it. We can copy their first thing and then kill it and like after. We just can't cast cryptic reliably at all. <sighs> Not thrilled about it, but. Hey. You should have chose their life. <laughs> I should have tagged them. I choose you. Actually, if we can land a sort of worm piece before they can deal with this guy, that's actually a lot of damage. Every game. Every game. And we have Dismember this time, so I'm okay with it. We can also copy it, get Jitte, so... Um... So actually, we can sword this turn, equip next turn, and uh, dismember when they put it into play. I like that. Yeah, this is a lot of damage, actually. They're, the, we, we dismember the batter skull. They have no way to block it. And they take three, four, five. Presuming they have seven cards in their hand. That's like 12 damage. Watch this be the one game they have an answer. They haven't had an answer at any point in any game for any of our creatures. And we're like, no, lightning bolt. Oh, I've got my little sh- shocky. <laughs> oh, a little shocky. Well, we had a good run. You can't win them all, Michael. You can only win some of them. Well, with that attitude, yeah. Well, that is unfortunate. So long, one million day. Actually, did we just steal this? We could. I mean, if we still batter skull, if you still the germ, they just bounce it, right? Yeah. Like it prevents them from putting their batter skull into play. I feel like we want to be pressuring them. And also, if they play, like, Ravages of War Armageddon here. Okay, Wrath of God. Well, didn't, didn't, see, that one coming. didn't see that one coming, I'll admit. I wish I had a second blue, a third blue source, but... <sighs> Actually, like Wrath of God and Armageddon, that's weird. It's very weird. Also, here's a black. Here's a swamp now. What's even happening? Here's a Gideon. All right, can't deal with any of these cards. I mean, I'm almost tempted to Snapcaster here just to kill. <sighs> I wouldn't kill him, so. All right, all right. Well, that's a thing, I guess. Turn too late. I guess, oh, we can copy the Batter Skull itself. We don't have to copy the germ, which is nice.
actually that's really good that they did that because now if we draw um a land we could dismember or not dismember kill it with colonnade rather Or we can just cryptic command, whatever they do here, which is, yeah, I don't care about that. Yeah, that's never happening. Wow, that's amazing. Um, is it draw or do we bounce the Gideon here? I think actually it's a pretty interesting choice. Wow, that's so greedy, dude. I wish I had a Boros trying to make my lands indestructible. If we draw yeah, another we land, we can... If we draw another island, we can Snapcaster Cryptic Command. If we draw any land, we can kill it. But we put them back a turn. The problem is, what do we do if we... Yeah, I think it's draw. The problem is we don't do anything... Um, if we don't draw land here, or if we, we have nothing to do if we bounce the Gideon. That's exactly what we wanted. All right, so we have Batter Skull and one other card. Sure. This game actually just turned around, which is one of my favorite things about Vintage Cube is that there are tons of decisions to make at any given point, and there are tons of ways to change games. Pretty, pretty sure I actually want to copy that maybe no we're just pathing that so the last card is batter skull so we take four And now we have Colony to block. Unless they play something pre-combat, which is nice. Yep, definitely countering that. So I'll resolve you. Counter draw. Whew! Oh, that's great. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We can dismember this idiot. We gotta keep uh, Snapcaster alive though, just to attack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to dismember puts us to two. Yeah. But we'll have a Stoneforge to block. Also, I want to metamorph this this batter skull. Um, I think we can wait. We do want to copy the batter skull, but we're not like we're not killing it, so we're killing the germ token, and ki killing the germ token actually doesn't stop us from doing that. I think I'm just gonna take one of these guys out. We have enough creatures with between colonnade, metamorph, and stoneforge mystic. Actually, do we have sword? Yeah. Which sword do we have? Do we have the black white one? Worn piece. Oh, we brought the war we left the worm piece in. Black white one seems real. Actually, where is it? Did they kill it? Did they exile it? Oh, they council of they council of judgment it. Yeah. Council of yeah. We can actually go to two here and play Jitte as well, which seems pretty good because they're in top deck mode. Yeah, we want to keep Dismember up to if they if they try to switch uh, the Batter Skull. And we can also put the, the Jitte on the Colonnade next turn. I actually think we're doing really well here. So 
what do they got? Six, seven, eight, nine. They have nine mana, so if they draw a land, they can move it twice. But I'm fine with just chumping. Like, their life total is less important than ours, and I think we have Jate and Batterskull and Colonnade, so we're doing well. Whew, this game is pretty intense. This is what I love about Vintage Cube, man. The swings. But the swings are like... They're consistent. Does that make sense? My opponent will probably top deck out of the snowing our luck. Yeah, that is definitely our luck. Um, I think we actually wait to dismember until we announce blockers because that way uh, we still get to kill the guy, but we also get to gain the four life. And they're probably not going to attack if they don't have it equipped. So I think that's actually a better play. My favorite part about our, our board state right now is that we can cast anything we draw, which is pretty uncommon for this deck. What a game. Does that mean we're dead? <laughs> Are you slow rolling it? Don't slow roll it for like three minutes. What do you think? I know. If we dismember, we go down to two and we gain no life. If we block, we have to trade in order to gain the life. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. We can actually activate this and equip it with Jite. We can't block through this and they can just re-equip it to someone else. Yeah. I think we're just gonna block here our board is better at the time so even if we kill this they just they have enough mana to re-equip it to something else um so we're just wasting our dismember however next time we can go batter skull jitte on here um shrink whatever they block gain another five life and we'll still have jitte counters uh which puts us in pretty insane position if that works out. Oh, that's pretty good against your token board. Yeah, I'll say. <laughs> Is that what we do though? Let's figure out our plan here before we do anything hasty. We can Batter Skull and Jitte, which is very, very good. They have one card and we're at 10, so we're not actually in, in danger of dying here. We can go Jace, bounce the servo. Then their next plan is to equip. But the problem is like, an attack. if we bounce this guy, we can't attack with Stoneforge because then they'll just block with the 2-2. Two -two. Right. Then we'll lose Stoneforge, we can kill both of these. I mean, do have a Jace, but I want to keep as many creatures. I think Batter Skull and Jitte is the safe is the safe way to do it. And then we still get to keep up Dismember by doing this. And it wipes their board. Like we deal five here, and then kill both of these if we Dismember. Actually, yeah, we get to kill everything if we do this. Oh, I just get to eat this guy. That's fantastic. Okay, I think I think that's probably going to cement our position as Grand Ruler of Magic the Gathering online. The Grand Poobah. Yep, 
yeah as you guys can as you guys can see from the chat there were various ways of doing this and uh oh wow <laughs> my god we can just play that and ignore everything he's doing we can play both this has vigilance yeah well elspeth also gives it vigilance no because it's flying oh flying and plus three plus three i don't want to attack first i want to actually they have one card in hand um I don't assume it's removal, but it probably is because that's that's the name of the game. I mean, we have Jitte to kill. If they have so, if they have a removal spell, if their last card is removal, they kill this. We get to go Jitte this guy and Jace this guy. So they have nothing, but they get to bounce their thing. Oh, Elspeth does that. I didn't know that. Oh, we don't even have to show them the yeah, you Jace. Said, I think I have had enough good game <laughs> in the chat. Woo! 3-0, baby. Surprise, surprise. Two 3-0s today. That was pretty sweet. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys have been great. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon. I have new content coming out there regularly for a dollar a month, which is nothing. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.